Payne at here. Let's see what's making news. After a few rough years of bleaching and wild weather, the Great Barrier Reef is making a coral comeback, which is good news. <laughs> but how good? Well, experts reckon that one particular type of coral is taking over, which could cause some big problems. Here's Joe. Coral, coral, and more coral. The Great Barrier Reef is teeming with the stuff right now. And that's a welcome relief for scientists from the Australian Institute of Marine Science, who have been monitoring the reef for a while now. They say that the reef has slowly been recovering over the past few years, after being pummeled by wild weather, destructive species like crown of thorn starfish, and of course, mass bleaching. Aside from coral bleaching, survey reefs saw low levels of other acute disturbances this year. Scientists have recorded more coral cover than they've seen in the last 36 years. But before you get too excited, there is still one little problem. Most of the regrowth is just one type of coral, called Acropora. And while they are flourishing, this type of coral is easily destroyed by storms and heat waves that leads to bleaching. And the periods of recovery we've seen in the last couple of years can quickly be reversed. Marine scientists reckon that to keep the marine ecosystem healthy, there needs to be lots of different types of coral that are more resistant to stress. So they'll keep their eye on the reef and hopefully keep the recovery going into the future. You know who's killing it at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham? Yeah, Australia. <laughs> The Aussie team has picked up more than 100 medals so far and sits pretty comfortably at the top of the standings. The swimming part of the games has come to a close and Emma McKeon has to be pretty pleased. She picked up an incredible six gold medals. Now we're about to meet identical twins Lucy and Steph. They love music and performing and they also have cystic fibrosis. Here they are to tell their story as part of the ABC's Takeover competition. Hi, I'm Lucy. Hi, I'm Steph. And we're, we're identical, identical twins. twins. And we do most things together. <laughs> we especially love playing music and started playing guitar when we were eight. From there, we started learning songs and harmonising. Today, we're playing our first paid gig at a festival. We're nervous, but excited. <laughs> Up there on stage, when everyone sees us playing, everything seems fine. That's the thing about invisible illnesses. A lot happens off stage. We were born with cystic fibrosis, or CF for short. CF is a genetic condition that affects our lungs and digestive systems and causes us to cough a bit. We were also diagnosed with Chiari malformation, a rare congenital condition. We were in a lot of pain for years and needed surgery to get better. Every day we have a routine. We take our medication and do airway clearance exercises. Because we have to work on our breathing so much, our lungs get stronger, which is good for singing. Singing and playing music on stage makes us feel confident and alive. We want to show people that anything is possible. And this first gig is just the start of our journey. And you can bet that no disease or condition is going, going to, to get in our way. Oh. That sure is a thing with a lot of things. <laughs> this is a sandwich with lots of stuff in it. It measures in at a whopping 74 metres long, or about twice the length of your average commercial plane's wingspan. Cooks at this fair in Mexico City set a local record by making it so long. No surprises there. But they also completed it in just two minutes and three seconds. At the end of the day, oh, hang on, uh, where's he taking that roast turkey? Uh, at the end of the day, the sandwich is cut up into smaller portions and promptly devoured. This is a jellyfish with lots of tentacles, and it caught the eye of a scuba diver who was diving off the coast of Papua New Guinea. For scale, it's a bit bigger than a soccer ball. It's got marine biologists pretty excited. Some think it could be a new, undiscovered species. But at this point in time, that's still just a hypothesis. So get excited, but you know, not too excited. Oh, that's a lot of things on the thing. <clears throat> See you later.